X-Men movies, right? Wildly inconsistent films. There's a whole bunch of them. I don't even know how many. Nine? Ten? One thing that is more constant, though, are their posters and how horrible they are. Hey, this whole YouTube thing's a fun time, but it's not my full-time job. I'm actually a web designer in front-end development, so when it comes to looking at things, I do have a little bit of an eye for detail. When it comes to looking at X-Men posters, you don't even need that. Today I want to talk about some of the worst offenders, see what you think. First up on this shit list is X-Men Days of Future Past. Upon first glance, this poster doesn't look all bad. The, the colors are nice, a lot of characters being shown in fun ways. But let's go a little closer. Why don't we take a gander at Beast here? Looks like he's jumping out of Mystique's X-Spot, if you will. Then there's Magneto, who appears to be comforting Logan's upset tummy. The worst offender by far, though, is Professor Xavier explosively farting off the ground. What? How, what were they thinking on that? It's just terrible. How do you design that and, and step back and say, yeah, I don't see anything wrong with this. All these issues aside, this isn't even the worst X-Men poster, which is a sad thing to say. If a poster could properly capture the quality of a film, X-Men First Class would be the worst piece of shit ever created. Holy hell, these posters are nightmarishly bad. Let's start with the crew. Here's the group shot poster of the franchise. It's hideous. The new intern at the studio must have learned, poorly, how to add reflections to characters. Some make zero sense at all. What the hell is going on here? This is madness on my brain. Is that Havoc way back there? He looks so sad. Everyone is walking away from him, which is fair. He has a stupid mutant power. <laughs> Look at Beast. He has zero fucks to give. He looks like he's texting and can't be bothered. Jesus, they're bodies. Nothing looks real or natural. Eric's legs are janky as fuck. And for some reason, he and Beast's limbs are just fading out. Charles doesn't even look like a real person here. James McAvoy is a good looking guy. That's not coming across in this poster. If I was to redo this, I would just take Emma Frost, blow her up, put her on the poster, call it a day. The fun doesn't stop here. We have some solo character posters. Now, if you thought that intern who did the reflections was bad, he or she looks like Leonardo da Vinci compared to what's going on with these. First up is Magneto, a simple photoshopped face on the top of a silhouette body. What the hell is the point of this poster even? Michael Fassbender is Magneto? Okay, I, uh, the poster gives us nothing to go on. This could have been made in less than an hour. And that's being more than generous. This is the laziest shit I've ever seen. Oh, scratch that. This is. Crotch-faced Professor X gonna give it to you. Nothing quite as engaging as the faded face of a dude on top of a guy in a wheelchair. Why on top of the penis, though? That's one of the many questions I have. There's plenty of room up to the right. A lot of empty space there, a lot of real estate for you to put that head. It's not like the aesthetic is gonna be any more ruined. At least try to salvage 10% of the embarrassment and reposition the wheelchair. There's more off frame. Just shift the whole thing to the left, or even better, burn it to the ground. A vast majority of the X-Men posters are pretty awful. Sadly, some of the best ones are used for Dark Phoenix, the worst X-Men movie to date. I love a good chunk of the X-Men films, so it's a shame these posters are so atrocious. I hope you enjoyed this new show segment. If you have any ideas for posters you want me to cover, put them in the comments. There's plenty of bad ones out there. Also, feel free to like the video if you had a good time, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and hopefully I'll see you around. Hey, thanks again for watching the video. If you made it this far, maybe you had a good time and want to support me further. You can head on over to Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies throw me a buck or two a month, or you can join right here on YouTube via that large join button that's somewhere, somewhere on the page, depending on where you're watching.